I'm Rich Carroll. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow you. Palm Coast's embattled trash hauler has put forward a plan they say will fix a breach in service. John Arking reports. Following a May 26 letter by the city to Waste Pro of Florida for its non-compliance with the current contract for residential solid waste and disposal services, three members of Waste Pro's administration met with city staff Wednesday and submitted a plan discussing the corrective measures that have been put into place. They also laid out steps on how it will meet the contractually agreed upon level of service going forward. Brittany Kershaw is the director of public information and engagement with the city of Palm Coast. It was a very candid discussion on the hardships that they're facing along with many other employers across the country right now due to COVID-19 and the unemployment. So they have made strides to move forward to be able to complete their routes on time. They've hired a third party waste collector to assist with them on their routes. They've also purchased additional trucks and hired more drivers and have offered their employees higher pay to continue working hard out there. It's a really tough job, and we're thankful that they are doing it, and we are ready to work with them to help the residents of Palm Coast have a successful service with them. As a result of Wednesday's meeting, the city and Waste Pro have implemented a stronger communications plan, including daily updates that will seek to keep city staff better apprised of the status of daily routes. Meanwhile, Palm Coast residents are encouraged to report a missed collection by submitting a ticket at palmcoastconnect.com. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm John Arkane. The citizens of Palm Coast will head to the polls at the end of next month to pick a new mayor following Melissa Holland's resignation. Later this month, on June 23rd and 24th, the Flagler Tiger Bay Club will be holding candidate forums. Craig Davis is the club's president. The forum is going to be over a two-day period because there are eight candidates in the race. And we feel in order to get good substance and good substance discussions and questions that we need to split that into two groups of, of four each for the forum. The forum is going to be held at Palm Coast Community Center. We're looking forward to receiving questions from the community and we'll have a question panel. The forums will run from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. both days with the first hour being a meet and greet followed by the candidates forum. You can attend the forums live in person at the Palm Coast Community Center, watch them virtually on Facebook, or you can hear them on WNZF. Ensure your kids are safe this summer playing in the pool at an upcoming event. Karen Johnson has the details. Flagler County Fire Rescue is partnering with agencies and businesses throughout the county to provide an educational yet fun day of water safety instruction for families and kids. Water Safe 2021 will be held from 9 to noon Saturday, June 5th at the Beltaire Swim and Racquet Club on Patricia Lane in Palm Coast. Jim Casiano is a founder of of water safe. We're signing children up for free swim scholarships where they will get six free swim lessons to, so they learn how to swim. Unfortunately, Florida leads the country in drowning deaths of children ages one to four years old, according to the Florida Department of Health. The Centers for Disease and Prevention, CDC, cites drowning as the leading cause of unintentional death of children in this age group. Casiano says in addition to being an educational experience, water safe will be fun too. We also have lots of different activities there. It's not just a learning event, it is a fun event. We'll also have Josh the Otter, there'll be games for the kids to play. Each of the kids will get a prize at that, those games. The event is free of charge and open to the public. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. Pastor Geraldine Denny wins four Telly Awards, which recognize the best of the best in video and television across all screens. Amy Cherry has the story. Denny says she had the opportunity to work with Eric Tran, the longtime animator of The Simpsons. Together, they produced an award-winning Christian pro-life piece called The Miracle of Christmas. I got connected with him when I was in Atlanta. I had an aha idea as I was working on a campaign there for a PAC, just looking and focusing on issue, issue advocacy. One of the issues was pro-life. So one day I had, aha, what if Mary had an abortion? Denny says most people win one telly award. She got four. One for use of 2D animation, one for media and entertainment, one for not for profit, and the other one, which I'm very excited about, was for social impact. Her show, Today with Pastor Jay, can be heard every Sunday at 8 a.m. on WNZF. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Amy Cherry. 
Empower is offering free treatment for your mental health. Empower's Amy Blakely said the organization got a grant to pay for the treatment and needed medication, and you can have both for free. We have been awarded money for individuals who do not have insurance or are underinsured. If they meet financial qualifications, they are able to get free services. So the treatment is free, and that also includes the cost of their medication. Blakely said the grant would cover both children and adults in the state of Florida. You can listen to Lifeline on Saturday mornings at 9, or you can find the podcast on the Flagler Radio app. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.